Kim Basinger was considered one of the most charismatic movie stars in Hollywood, an undisputed sex symbol, the Marilyn Monroe of the 1980s. Men admired her, and women envied her and wanted to be like her. However, the fate of the actress was not like a fairy tale. It's more like a steep roller coaster that you don't really want to ride. Two extremely unsuccessful marriages, bankruptcy, scandalous divorce from Alec Baldwin, and the subsequent long-term battle for custody of her daughter, struggle with alcohol addiction, depression, and agoraphobia. The actress had to face all this. The video about the difficult destinies of celebrities tells how Basinger achieved success despite numerous mental problems, and then because of them she lost her love and almost destroyed her career. A woman of difficult fate. On December 8th, the famous Hollywood actress Kim Basinger celebrated her 70th birthday. In recent years, she rarely films and even less often appears in public. This is partly due to anxiety disorder and agoraphobia, which she has been struggling with for many years, but which she has not completely overcome. At the height of my mental illness, I didn't leave the house. I stopped going to restaurants. I had to relearn how to drive. Everything made me nervous. Everything became a big problem that I had to solve. Kim Basinger. However, numerous mental problems did not stop Basinger from remaining in the spotlight for several decades. She went from a Playboy cover model and Bond girl to an Oscar winner. The actress was compared to the iconic blondes of Hollywood's golden age, Bridget Bardot and Marilyn Monroe. Indeed, Basinger has strived for many years to prove that she is not just a beautiful woman, but a talented, dramatic actress. In addition to good breasts, the gods often give a life full of trials, she said bitterly in one interview. Extremely shy star. Kim Basinger, or rather Kimla N., was born in the small town of Athens, Georgia, to model and Lee Cordell and jazz musician Don Wade Basinger. She has been involved in creative circles since childhood, desperately wanted to become famous and try herself in the modeling business, like her mother. But if it were not for the persistence of her parents, her dream would hardly have come true. As a child, she was extremely withdrawn and quiet, so much so that her parents even took her to a psychiatrist because they assumed that their daughter had autism. After talking with Kim, the doctor said that she had no developmental disabilities and her lack of self-confidence was explained by the lack of friends and a lack of attention and love from her parents. According to Basinger, her childhood was happy and carefree. But it seems she is being a little disingenuous. Her parents raised the girl and four other children in strictness, were reluctant to listen to stories about their problems, and in the house it was not customary to openly express one's emotions or even laugh loudly. Things were no better for Kim at school. She had no friends. Her classmates considered her strange, were reluctant to communicate with her, and constantly came up with various offensive nicknames for her. I was a lonely child. At school, they considered me abnormal, avoided me, teased me as a fool and fish mouth, because of which I was constantly feeling bad, and I got into trouble. Kim Basinger. Everything changed when Basinger, having grown up, realized that her pathological shyness would not lead her to anything good. Then she signed up for dance and the cheerleading team and asked her mother to teach her to control her body better. By the age of 16, Kim had become an attractive girl and began to take her first steps in the modeling business. Her father, tired of his daughter not being able to cope with her complexes, bet that she did not have enough courage to take part in the Miss Georgia Beauty Contest. Offended by such an assumption, she entered the competition and took first place. After winning, believing in her strength, Basinger decided to move from her hometown to New York, where, in her opinion, there were more opportunities to realize herself and earn money. To pay the bills, she sang in nightclubs, starred in commercials, worked as a model, but could not achieve resounding success. Although she was paid handsomely for her appearances, she dreamed of fame and becoming a star. Having lost hope of conquering New York, Basinger moved to California, from a model for men's magazines to Bond's girlfriend. 
In the early 1970s, Basinger was considered one of the most sought-after American models, but gradually she felt cramped within the confines of this profession. It was very strange, constantly going to auditions where everyone was evaluating every detail of your appearance. I could hardly stand it. Every time, I felt like I was suffocating. Kim Basinger. In Los Angeles, she decided to try herself in cinema. Basinger enrolled in acting classes, began enthusiastically going to auditions, starring in TV series and little-known films. However, critics refused to take the acting of the aspiring actor seriously, and viewers saw her as just another sexy blonde. Then she decided to change her strategy, and in 1981 agreed to pose for the cover of Playboy. The provocative photo shoot instantly turned Basinger into a superstar, and she was finally noticed by film producers. After a series of not very successful projects, she was invited to play the James Bond girl played by Sean Connery in the film Never Say Never Again. The actress gained her first success with this role, but her real breakthrough was the erotic melodrama Nine and a Half Weeks, released in 1985. For $100, thousand, was Basinger's fee for the role of Elizabeth McGraw in Nine and a Half Weeks. This work made Basinger and her partner Mickey Rourke stars of the first magnitude. The film was panned by critics and nominated for a Golden Raspberry. But for viewers, the on-screen tandem of the actors turned out to be very convincing, despite the fact that in real life, they could not stand each other. It is generally accepted that the conflict between the leading actors arose because Rourke behaved like a pompous boar and alcoholic on the set, did not wash or brush his teeth. But Basinger herself was not a role model. In the first half of the 1980s, she already had serious problems with drugs and alcohol. The actress began to abuse illegal substances due to failures in her personal life. Bankruptcy of one of the most successful stars of the 1990s. Basinger never lacked male attention and married for the first time in 1980. The actress's chosen one was makeup artist Ron Britton whom she met on the set of the film Hard Country. The romance between them developed rapidly and just as quickly grew into a marriage that lasted nine not very happy years. As the couple's entourage claimed, this relationship was doomed to failure from the very beginning. And it was not that Britton was 15 years older, but that he was terribly jealous of his wife, both to other men and to success, which drove her to a nervous breakdown. In 1989, a high-profile divorce case began, during which the makeup artist sued his ex-wife for everything he could. $9,000 in alimony was to be paid monthly by Basinger to Britain for eight years. The court also ordered her to pay off all mortgage payments. In the same 1989, the actress bought the abandoned American town of Brisselton to build a film studio and organize a film festival there. But... These plans failed to materialize. As a result, after the divorce, Basinger found herself in an extremely difficult financial situation. At the same time, the actress decided to distance herself from the image of a sex bomb that had become boring to her. On the advice of her agent, Basinger refused to star in the thriller Helena in a Box, which was full of erotic scenes. The studio's producers and lawyers collected a huge penalty from her, $9 million. After buying the city, Basinger did not have the money to pay the penalty, and she had to declare bankruptcy. Thus, by the beginning of the 1990s, there was no trace left of the financial well-being and reputation of one of the most successful actresses of those years. Directors and producers did not want to take risks and invite her to their projects. Basinger's creditors even tried to stop her from getting pregnant through the courts until she paid off the lawsuit. The actress began to drown all these troubles in alcohol and illegal drugs, passion on screen and in life. The black streak in Kim's life turned into a white one in 1990, when, while working on the comedy The Marrying Man, she began a relationship with her partner in the project, Alec Baldwin. The actors lost their heads over each other on the very first day of filming. 
According to them, it was crazy, passionate love. Baldwin surrounded his beloved with care and attention and began to accompany her to all the court hearings related to her refusal to star in the thriller Box Delena. When the scandalous verdict was handed down, it was he who told the press, what was done to Kim is so unfair that I have no words to describe it. After what she went through in court, I know for sure that there is no justice in this country for people like her. Basinger also constantly repeated to reporters, if Alec hadn't been sitting next to me every day during this crazy trial, I wouldn't have been able to stand it. He's my rock. Kim Basinger. Baldwin supported Basinger not only morally, he also helped her pay off her debts and revived her acting career when he somehow convinced producers to give her the lead role in the action movie Prison Break. In 1993, Baldwin proposed to the actress. Six weeks later, they got married. About a hundred guests attended the ceremony from the groom's side, from Kim's side, only her father, younger sister, and a few friends. Even after the wedding, few believed that this marriage would last long. Their characters were too different. The eccentric and capricious Basinger had a reputation in Hollywood as a scandalous and eccentric woman, while Baldwin was considered a balanced and trouble-free actor before meeting her. But this couple surprised everyone and stayed together for seven years. Baldwin really supported his wife in everything. He put up with her phobias, surrounded her with care, and cried with joy when Basinger received the coveted Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in the film L.A. Confidential. Basinger, on the other hand, was calm about her husband's character traits. Seven years of legal hell. In 1995, the couple had a daughter, Ireland. The birth of a child changed the actors' lives and, unfortunately, not for the better. At the time of her pregnancy, Basinger was 42 years old, and she no longer hoped to become a mother. After the birth of her daughter, the actress took a break from her career, stopped taking care of herself, and began to harass her household staff, not trusting anyone to take care of her long-awaited daughter. Fear became a constant part of Basinger's life. The actress's panic attacks returned, and in addition to claustrophobia, social phobia, fear of the dark and loneliness, agoraphobia was added which caused her to not leave the house for months. Her eccentric behavior was becoming increasingly difficult to bear. The actress herself later admitted that mental problems always affect relationships and that you need to have incredible patience to put up with such things. Baldwin, however, did not have a huge reserve of patience. He was tired of his wife's inadequate behavior, her fears, because of which she constantly woke up at night crying. He was especially irritated by the fact that Basinger refused to build a family nest and take the medications prescribed by doctors. The spouses began to quarrel almost every day and did not hesitate to sort things out in public. In 2000, after another conflict, Basinger took her daughter and filed for divorce. The divorce proceedings that began a year later were difficult, long and very loud. The main stumbling block was custody of Ireland. Basinger insisted on sole custody of her daughter, a demand that infuriated Baldwin. Attempts to divide the child lasted until 2008, and all this time the actors regularly publicly threw mud at each other. Moreover, Baldwin, in a fit of anger, even managed to say nasty things to his own 11-year-old daughter, calling her a heartless pig in another phone conversation. When people break up, it is always a trauma for a child. When Alec and I were getting divorced, the dirty details of our marriage came to light. I tried to raise Ireland, giving her as much freedom as possible. If she wants to hang out with her friends and draw on the walls, go ahead. I think this will help her cope with everything that is happening in our lives, Basinger believed. As a result, the court left the girl with her mother and granted her father the right to see her at any time. However, the endless squabbles between her parents affected Ireland's mental health. Despite a fairly successful modeling career and eventually improving her relationship with her father and his new family, she tried all possible ways of self-destruction. The girl ended up in rehab more than once with alcohol and drug addiction and eating disorder and after a suicide attempt. 
The scandalous divorce and the subsequent long-term legal battle also left their mark on Basinger's health. She became depressed, thought about committing suicide, and became addicted to antidepressants, which she revealed in an interview with Jada Pinkett Smith. Now, she lives in Southern California, writes books, is involved in charity work and animal protection, spends a lot of time with her beloved daughter, Ireland. The actress does not even fight with her ex-husband, Alec Baldwin, anymore. Moreover, according to her, recently they get along quite well, because they have nothing to share for a long time. Each has their own life, and Ireland is already an adult and can decide for herself who to communicate with. Despite two unsuccessful marriages, Kim has not lost faith in love. She never married again, but since 2014, she has been in a relationship with celebrity hairdresser Mitch Stone. Before they started dating, they were friends for many years, and romantic feelings turned out to be a surprise for both. Having coped with all the blows of fate, Basinger was finally able to take control of her phobias and stopped clinging to past grievances. The actress has come to terms with herself and now, in her own words, is absolutely sure that even taking into account all the bad things that have happened to her, she is the happiest woman in the world. Kim Basinger Net Worth Nickname $20 million dollars, Gender female Age 70 years old in 2024 Date of birth December 8, 1953 Real name Kimla and Basinger Profession actress, model, singer, producer Nationality, American. Birthplace, Athens, Georgia, United States. Religion, Christianity. Zodiac, sign, Sagittarius. Kim, Basinger Education. School, Athens High School, Athens, Georgia, 1971. Kim, Basinger Career. Profession, actress, model, singer, producer. Known for Sheila, debut, TV series, Night Train to Dallas, 1976. Family and Relatives. Father, Donald Wade Basinger. Mother, and Cordell. Brother, Mick Basinger, Skip Basinger. Sister, Barbara Basinger, Ashley Basinger. Marital Status, Married. Married, Alec Baldwin, M. 1993-2002. Ron Snyder, M. 1980-1989. Children, 1. Son, none. Daughter. Ireland Baldwin.